Peace and greetings everyone, Divine Zeal here, and I wanted to give you guys a little uh, video of my hacker phone. This right here is um, probably like $30 phone. I mean, maybe you could probably even get this for like $15. Especially if people are just like trying to sell it, they don't even know the capabilities of this phone. Um, they're obviously not into that uh, very specific cybersecurity corner of the world. Um, but yeah, I wanted to just go through a quick little look of this phone. Um, you could put it on uh, quite a few. I wouldn't say any or every Android phone. Um, there is a very specific uh, list. Um, but I'm gonna give you just a quick overview um, so if you like it, you know, I'm going to make uh, some more videos on how you can do this. Um, you can even go on eBay and um, buy a phone uh, pretty cheap. Um, you can use a lot, you know, some of the newer ones. Uh, this phone was made in probably 2016. Um, so it is a little, a little bit slower, but it still gets everything done. So uh, let's jump into it and check it out. So at first, this seems like a pretty typical Android phone. However, it is not your typical uh, Android phone. Um, so this is Kali Net Hunter, and you can find it at kali.org. Um, you can install this on Linux um, and various other ways. Uh, but this is a very easy, beginner-friendly uh, version. And you basically have to root your phone um, as you can see, you have to root your phone and then um, install a recovery uh, image and then you can install uh, NetHunter. And what NetHunter is, is it's basically a custom kernel on top of um, the operating system. So it's just like a, a custom version of Android um, that uh, specifically runs uh, Linux type applications. So here we have the main NetHunter uh, uh, screen, and you can just check on different aspects of your um, NetHunter. And then when you go into the menu, you have uh, tons of really cool things you can do. Um, the first thing you'll do when you install NetHunter is you need to make sure that the Kali CH root manager is active and now if you're using um, one of the newer phones you have to make sure which uh, processor you have and the Nexus 5 have the ARM HF but if you're using a ARM 64 on one of the newer um, processors um, then you would need to uh, make sure you change uh, this otherwise it won't work you might run into an error because it sets it to Kali dash arm 64 as default um, yeah so you can see that the ch root is going and then that means you have um, complete root access um, here are some different settings um, you can mess around with um, if you would like to Uh, here is um, a pretty important area if you want to, say, um, flash a new version of NetHunter or any other custom kernels. Um, and, you know, you got to uh, beware um, because you don't want to mess up your phone. Um, but if you do want to do extra kernel flashing, you could do it right there. Um, here you can add extra modules. Um, for instance, if you wanted to add... Um, you know, like something that has a USB dongle or um, Linux driver, I mean, uh, Wi-Fi adapter drivers. Um, this is where you would add this. So uh, next we go to the Kali services. And uh, this is really important because if you're using specific tools, um, you might need to have specific services. Um, like let's say uh, Bluetooth, you know, if you're running a database with Postgres SQL, um, such as Metasploit, um, SSH, and uh, networking. And you can also select to have these um, run as soon as your phone starts, which could be very helpful. 
Here we have um, custom commands. And uh, this is also very important because this is where you'll launch uh, certain things. And you can also add uh, new things as well. Um, but you can update uh, Kali Meta packages um, if you're using those. You can uh, launch Wi-Fi, which is um, a Wi-Fi um, tool that hackers can use to get more information about certain things. Um, this is how you uh, start or stop monitor mode if you want to inject packets, um, if you want to um, do some deeper things uh, like with Wireshark and monitor packets. And um, also if you have uh, an extra um, adapter, because most phones do not have uh, monitor mode, you can have um, probably multiple adapters if you want um, to do whatever you need to do. So here we have uh, the Kex Manager. And uh, Kex is a way to um, get the desktop experience and um, you know like connect your phone. Um, you could look into uh, Kex. I'm not really gonna go too deep into it, um, but it's awesome that there is the ability, um, like, let's say, like let's say if you have your laptop somewhere and you still wanna con control your phone. All right, so um, you can see it gives you this uh, message. It's only supported by kernels uh, four and above. And um, HID and all that should be automatically enabled on older devices with NetHunter patches. Um, so yeah, make sure to get any extra kernels uh, that might be necessary if you uh, do want to do anything with that. And um, this will allow you to do other USB stuff. Um, this is pretty cool. You, you have some HID um, abilities here. And um, whether it's with PowerSploit, Windows Command, uh, PowerShell, HTTP, Payload, um, there's quite a lot you can do here. And you can go into that and also um, look at everything that you can do and execute some cool things on your own devices. Here we have uh, the Duck Hunter script, which uh, converts USB rubber ducky scripts into NetHunter HID format. And uh, yeah, this is pretty cool too because you could load from SD card if you want to push um, a whole bunch of ducky scripts over. And um, you know, you can uh, do um, just what you need to do. And it comes with tons of cool uh, ducky scripts that you can uh, mess around with. And here we have bad USB man in the middle attack. Pretty self-explanatory. Um, I haven't messed around too much with this mana wireless tool, um, but I imagine um, if you do want to mess with that, um, you could probably look into it. Um, we have WPS attacks, uh, and you would need to have monitor mode and um, <clears throat> a USB adapter that can do that. Um, next, we have the Bluetooth uh, arsenal. And here um, we have some different uh, services and <clears throat> let's install some Bluetooth tools. This is the first time I actually uh, opened it up. So it's pretty cool, you know, this is like a Linux phone, uh, more or less. You install know. your packages, you can connect to Wi-Fi. I'm currently connected to my uh, mobile hotspot with this phone I'm recording with. And you know, you could uh, do what you need to do. It's really up to you. So yeah, I uh, installed the Bluetooth tools. And here you can see there's quite a few things you can do. Um, brute force, Bluetooth devices, addresses, ping and discover uh, their services. I'm just giving you a look at the uh, things you could do. There you go, hunt for devices. What's that do? And then here we have uh, Bluetooth spoofing. 
And this is interesting too, because I have um, in my other videos that I've shown a cheap ESP32 uh, Bluetooth scanner and um, also Bluetooth HID. Um, so you could do the Bluetooth scanner and then you can um, type in the address and whatever else um, and spoof it or you can type in your target address and ping it. Um, <clears throat> so you can use multiple different tools, like for instance, if this isn't scanning um, as good as you need it to. Um, we got the Car Whisperer script, um, listen to or inject audio to various devices like speakers, headsets, watches, or even cars. So I'm gonna make um, definitely a lot of videos on uh, different things. Um, this is Blad Bad uh, Bluetooth. And um, basically what it does is it creates a Bluetooth device um, with the address you give it and whatnot. And um, you can do certain things like um, Rickroll, fake Windows update. And um, you can also load um, scripts from files. And um, once again, like uh, the short I've uploaded, I'm gonna do a full video. Um, there's a lot you can do with Bluetooth um, HID. It really affects any device uh, you want. Um, the scripting, the scripting might just be a little bit different. So wow, Bluetooth Arsenal. That is a whole crap ton. Um, so next we'll have the uh, SET. So let's uh, check and install. Okay, so we installed um, SET, which is Social Engineering Toolkit, <clears throat> and it's an email template builder. Um, you need to have a working Gmail account um, in order to set this up, and it's recommended not to have an account picture if you use Gmail. So what this basically does is um, it's like a spoofer, and you can set up a cool little template, and then it sets up um, cool little um, fake uh, page to do all that and um, this is interesting because if you have any um, coding experience um, pretty sure you can put in um, your own um, templates if you need to uh, So next here we have the man in the middle framework <clears throat> and it's a one-stop shop for man in the middle and network attacks for updating and improving existing attacks and techniques and you have all these uh, different settings which you can research and look into it's giving you a quick uh, overview so as you can see there's uh, quite a lot this is a $30 phone, remind you. And of course, we have the Nmap scan. And you can um, obviously go to your terminal and do uh, Nmap scans. As you can see, it both pulled up the uh, help manual. But this is an extremely easy way. Um, and then look at this. So then you can have, you can click all the different settings you want. And you can do the ports, top 20 ports, fast mode, um, don't randomize. You can do all the little different settings. So then you don't have to go to terminal and type in all the little commands. And then you can just um, type in you know, the web address, IP address, IP range, um, really awesome. Uh, here we have the Metasploit payload generator. Um, and I've kind of tried to use Metasploit with the NetHunter phone. And to be honest, Metasploit is so amazing, especially because of the database integration. I'd highly recommend you use that um, on your laptop or computer or probably um, the newest and strongest phone you can get NetHunter on. Uh, but this is here. 
um, if you do want to use it and it helps um, create um, the type of payload that you want and you can um, you know check out all the different settings but there's a lot of awesome stuff you can do um, without that and you have search Boyd, of course so you can uh, you know if you see a certain device or a certain computer or someone's operating system or whatever or um, a certain uh, service you can search um, search for it and hopefully find something for you to use um, this is the uh, pineapple connector if you have the high hack 5 pineapple um, but I'm not really going to go into that you can look into that if you want and um, here we have uh, war driving because you are you do have a phone um, so you could use this as a war driver um, but it probably would be easiest to um, use the war driving app um, if, if you can um, but this is here as well and we have the um, D auth and you need a uh, monitor mode um, to deauthorize uh, people because that uh, injects packets and monitors for packets um, but just so you could see what it looks like and it's pretty you know it's pretty simple um, but obviously I can't um, monitor for packets or at the moment um, because uh, this does not have the Wi-Fi adapter. All right, wow. So that is a quick overview of the NetHunter phone. Um, honestly, I'm really amazed. Uh, like my goal is to um, <clears throat> try and make a lot of these because I'm trying to create some sort of um, tech <clears throat> tech school of sorts um, whether it's cybersecurity, coding um, electronics um, electronic engineering whatever um, and really how to do it in the <clears throat> cheapest possible way especially focusing on low income and um, impoverished communities what are ways we can get some tools into people's hands so they can just start learning start working with things start applying uh, this knowledge um, in just real world ways and, you know, if you're just a normal Joe, this is also a really cheap, uh, fun, cool way to get into cybersecurity and hacking and also just um, add it to your workflow if you're already into all those things. Um, I'm going to be giving some more in-depth uh, videos just on different aspects of NetHunter. Um, NetHunter has been around for a while. It has been around for quite uh, some years. Uh, but... I feel like a lot of the community is either like on Reddit or um, on the XDA forums or, you know, somewhere, somewhere on some forum. And, you know, there needs to be more videos on um, just this uh, software and just cool things you can do with phones that you might just have laying around. Um, so, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know uh, what you liked, what you didn't like, what you'd like me to go deeper into. Um, if you need any help uh, rooting a phone or uh, flashing that hunter on there or you know you might have bricked your phone um, whatever it is trust me um, there's a good chance I can probably help you out or at least still you're in the right direction um, it sucks though if you have a phone that cannot be um, rooted because the bootloader can't be unlocked um, you know if you have a phone that's a Verizon phone or on any carrier um, and it's not unlocked then you can't do this your phone needs to be unlocked um, so it can be rooted. But the process, if your phone is unlocked, it should only take um, about 20 minutes, maybe even less, to have your phone be a hacker phone. Um, so yeah, signing out. And as always, stay peaceful, stay positive, stay progressive, stay productive, stay proactive. And I promise you, you'll always be blessed. Divine Zio, signing out. Peace.